Our musical guest today is Leah Laurenti, and she's a fabulous singer and songwriter. She's been on Idol, but Idol doesn't define her. She is an artist in her own right, has been ever since birth. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Leah Laurenti. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me here today. It's lovely to meet you in person. I, nice to I'm meet you too. familiar with your music. I'm familiar with you know how your career's been blossoming so far. But you really did say that it started at birth. What did you mean by that? Did you come out singing? Oh. <laughs> I don't really know. I should ask my mom that question. Um, I probably came out crying more likely, but no, I just always love singing and I think it's always worked for me and um, people seem to like the way I sound, so I guess I'm lucky that I'm, I'm able to do something I love and I'm good at it, so I stuck with it. Did you ta do talent shows, like the local talent shows when you were a kid? When or? I was younger, I did them in school. They weren't like contests, they were just strictly like everybody can do it and have fun with it, but I always did it and my teachers would always be like, oh my God, she's good or she really has something. and. I don't know, you just do it for fun and you enjoy it, but when people start thinking you're good, it gets exciting, you know? Like, you do a lot of different different things, school plays and... How'd you get stuff. discovered? Um, when somebody said, you know what, this should be your profession, this should be your life. Or did you do it on your own? The same thing that my, I always tell people when they ask me, like, where, where did I really, like, realize where it started? I was in third grade. My, I had a substitute teacher in chorus one day and we were just singing, like, Christmas carols. and. I really wanted to just sing, but I didn't want people to take me like super seriously. And I don't know, I, I don't like to be taken like uber seriously because I just want people to see me as a fun girl. And I sang this Silver Bell song and like the silliest, like twangy, retarded voice ever. And the teacher was like, you should just sing it in your real voice. So I did. And he wound up telling my, my real music teacher that I was good. And she wound up like putting me like on different assignments to learn like songs from Annie and from Les Mis and all these different shows and put me in front of a bunch of different people to sing all the time and I just, I kept going with it. And I sang in church my whole life, so. Perfect, now how's the auditioning yeah. process for you now? I mean like you, you auditioned for Idol and as a musician you still need to audition. Yeah, um, I did Idol cause I really didn't want to do it at first at all. I just, I really had no desire to be on the show. I thought it was kind of silly. I, I didn't like how they would make fun of people that weren't good. And I was always the kind of person that would say like, just because you don't sing like Whitney Houston or something doesn't mean you're not good. Everyone has their own sound and you have to kind of work with it to, to make it your own and see if people will like it. And I didn't like how they made fun of people, but eventually I went on the show and I made it to Hollywood and I went through a bunch of different like rounds. It's like it's a tedious audition process. Like they make you go through four rounds. They don't care if it's pouring rain outside or how long you have to wait. You just have to wait, pay your dues. And if it works, it works. And for me, it worked. I was on TV and uh, I got eliminated in group round. And then um, out of that, I met my management, Creative Empires, Donna Thiel. And I don't know, I just like, I really didn't want to go back and she said, I really think you should try again. We'll have a strategy. We can really work it and see like what we can come up with this time. And she went with me to California, made it to Hollywood again. And I got eliminated again, but I kept going. Like, I like what I do. I'm not going to give up just because American Idol didn't like think I was good enough for their TV show. Like It's part of the journey. It's part of the process, right? And it's like, those are the steps you take and you grow as an artist, you grow right. as a person, you create memories and right. lasting friendships. And Definitely. it's all a part of the journey. Uh, and I know that you wrote the songs that are on mm -hmm. the CD. Um, I always want to still say it's an album because I'll be 47, yeah. you know. I say uh, album so, too. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm like, my album's gonna <laughs> drop. Uh, every time, like, hello, <laughs> hello, <laughs> CD. Okay, so anyway, it's, um, I found you, and you're gonna play a little bit of that for us? Yeah, I'm awesome. gonna play a little bit. It's okay. a song I wrote about a guy I met that I really only knew for like two days, but, well, I knew him for longer than two days, but, you know, things start out good, and then sometimes they don't always last, but this song is like, you know, a representation of what um, I was feeling at the time that I met somebody, and, you know. And it was good while it lasted. Yeah, it was great while it lasted. So this is called I Found You, and uh, I hope you guys like it, and my green nail polish, yay. I'm writing you a love song, a simple little love song. Just wanna make you smile today. You came out of nowhere, the room stopped and I stared. We had a laugh and then you walked away. Three days have slowly gone by since. 
since I saw you for the first time, I'm dying to just see you again. I don't know what else to say. You've been on my mind all day. Wish I could relive that night again. Cause when I found you, you found me. And I'm so happy that you came, came my way. When you found me, I found you, and I knew things were never gonna be the same, be the same. Not sure where we are going, don't really wanna go there. I can't believe I'm feeling this way. Can I hold this moment in? Time, pretending you are all mine I don't want to let you slip away Every day that passes me by When I think of us that first night I'm dying to just see you again I don't know what else to say You've been on my mind every day Can we just go back and live that night again? You know, it makes me um, have visions of all kinds of like wonderful things, you know, like of like weddings and like the simpleness of falling Very in love the first cool. time when you're in high school yeah, and like, fun. right, you like get that. It's like a, it's like a love letter. Yeah, it's nice. Isn't the beginning of like meeting someone like the best part because like you have those butterflies all the time and absolutely you just want them to last forever and yeah. usually they should, but <laughs> whatever. But, but yeah. you know what it is, what it is, as they say in New York, I grew up in St. Louis and um, you actually are from here, but you have like a very Midwestern authenticity Ooh, about you you know Thank you're real you, you know you. And, and your music uh, touches people because you go like right into the heart of the matter so thanks you're awesome I'm glad and uh, I would do a whole half hour show but I can't so That's but would okay. you play another little song for us as we go into the next break Absolutely. so um, um, and let me shake your hand because you're like you're oh, awesome yeah, you're really you. great thanks okay. I'll give so, you a hug I'll give you a hug you will? <laughs> yeah. thank you oh you're welcome I'm a hugger uh, I'm a hugger too <laughs> okay, okay so, so now what do you want to play this one's called empty line okay and um, is this the opposite of love or? Kind of. It's like this guy didn't pick up the phone once, so I wrote a song about it. Yeah, it's kind okay. of typical. Um, sleep my body is weak you've been running through my mind endlessly it's 803 and the clock's ticking how much longer till you answer me and normally i wouldn't wait but today things are just not the same because before when spoke with you it sounded sincere so how could I just throw away what I feel like it's worth the wait maybe it's something in me I just fear you like 
wanna talk to you An empty lie Oh, I can't get through You know you're like an empty line And I wanna talk to you